Hi everyone, good morning. Hope you have all started your day in a good way. And I'm glad to see you guys again this morning. Hope you're all doing great. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, our topic of discussion for today's session uh, is the big five personality traits. Actually, I was reading, I was, I was searching about how, what uh, topic I can choose for today. And I uh, just bumped into this uh, article about uh, how there is five uh, core uh, personality traits there. And everything like comes out of these five um, traits. So I thought we can uh, discuss them and I can share what I read. In that article and you can let me know what you think so these uh, five uh, personality traits as you can see uh, the first one which is openness it uh, as it's clear it's talking about um how uh people who are high in openness tend to have like a uh, bro um, a big range of interest and they're curious about the and about other people and they're eager to learn new things and enjoy new experiences so people who are um, high in this personality trait uh, tend to be more um, adventurous and creative and people who have who are lo low in this personality trait are much more traditional and strict and they struggle with uh, you know create, uh, thinking of the box so this uh, first uh, personality trait uh, talk about this and uh, people with high uh, openness I can say they uh, uh, focus on you know tackling challenges and they are happy to think about uh, different uh, abstract concepts I can say but uh, people who are not that uh, open and they don't have they have a low openness uh, uh, personality low open personality they, they are not very imaginative, they, re they resist new ideas, and they do not uh, enjoy new things. And uh, I, I, I don't believe that uh, we have, mm, you know, bad and good in these uh, subjects. I mean, it's not that people who are uh, uh, low in this personality trait or uh, uh, change it, or people who have... Uh, uh, who are high in this personality trait are better. I, I, I don't think uh, it's like that. I think people... <laughs> uh, I think people um, uh, can be different and uh, some people are not too comfortable with changes and uh, I don't think that uh, that's, that's bad. I think people always need to work on themselves to be better. But it doesn't mean that if if you can if uh, you are not that open, you are not a good person. So uh, I just wanted to clear that out that I don't want to like compare uh, in that in the terms of which what uh, what is bad, what is good. So uh, the other uh, core personality trait that this article was saying was a uh, consciousness con conscien. Oh, sorry, I I practice this but uh, I uh, I still cannot uh, pronounce it conscientiousness yeah so uh, is um, it's defined by uh, high level levels of thoughtfulness uh, good impulse control and uh, like goal directed behaviors and uh, these kind of people uh, they tend to be organized and they are mindful and they uh, plan ahead and they think about their behavior uh, and how it affects others and they uh, and uh, they the time and the 
energy of other people is important for them so they don't try to waste it or uh, they try to meet the date deadlines and uh, um, plan plan for everything before it happens um, but those who are like uh, lower in this uh, personality trait they are less structured and they're less organized and like they may be a procrastinator, they might uh, uh, miss the deadline, they uh, they like maybe sometimes make messes and uh, fail to return thing, things or uh, procrastinate important tasks. And uh, it's just like they, they may, I can say they may take the, uh, Think about life easier. Yeah, they don't. They are not as strict. They just uh, uh go with uh the fellow of uh life. I can say, and they don't want to focus on or uh concentrate on the structures and the schedules. But uh, people who are high in this personality trait, they pay. They they enjoy having a set a schedule and. Um, they, it's important for them to finish the task you know, right away. So again, I don't believe that uh, it's good or bad. I think always people need to work on themselves to be better. And uh, sometimes the people who are more strict and uh, they're uh, like structured and organized, they sometimes are uh, will be burned out and they uh, cannot tolerate uh, you know other people um, anymore so it's not like being that much strict or organized is okay so i, I think we, i believe that we need to have like a um, medium range of everything so like um, it's not uh, you, you shouldn't be uh, either in this side of the uh, line or at, uh, in that sort of side of the line. So I think you have to always be in the middle. So that's what makes you uh, a more complete person. So moving on to the next uh, personality trait, uh, which is extraversion, is uh, I think this um, trait is uh, categorized by um, excitability, talkativeness, um, emotional expressiveness, uh, and uh, people who are high in this uh, trait, uh, in extroversion, uh, outgoing, they like to um, be in social uh, places, they like to be in social, social situations, they, they even gain energy, from uh, these uh, social situations and they like being around people and help them and get help and they feel energized and excited. And people who are low in this personality trait are, 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 are I can, we can say people who are introverted, they tend to be more reserved and they may be less ener they may have less energy when they are in, in social settings and they're in social events and they always like and need a time for themselves to like calm down and um like they, they need more time to uh, to spend with themselves so again uh, yeah it's like we have two kind of people extroverts and uh, introverts so it's like a personality and uh, I, I don't think that uh, introverts are, uh, are, are, are supposed to work on themselves or uh, extroverts shouldn't like just be that social. And I myself, I think I'm an, I'm an extrovert. Uh, I'm uh, <laughs> high in that uh, personality trait. And I like uh, being, uh, you know, in in public places and I like to being with my friends and with my colleagues and with other people and uh, sometimes you know extroverts uh, talk a lot 
like uh, they overshare and they say things that you uh, that they don't uh, think about it so it's not like always being high on a personality trait is good so sometimes they um, talk about the things before they think about it before and um and uh, they like to start conversations with new people uh, and uh, it's exactly vice versa with uh, the introvert people who dislike making small talks and try to find people to to be friends with people and they are um, careful about what they say and uh, you know what they want to say and they like they uh, dislike being like in the center of attention so the other uh, one is agreeableness uh, which is uh, which uh, focus on trust on uh, affection and uh, on kindness i can say and people who are like high in this personality trend tend to be more cooperative and while those who are like uh, low in this personality trait are more competitive and sometimes even uh, manipulative so i think those who are high uh, uh, and they have like this and they are um, this a personality trait agreeableness they have a great deal of interest in other people they can trust is easier and they feel empathy and concern for other people uh, and um they enjoy helping and contributing with people and try to make others happy. And uh, I think for the for the ones who are low in this personality trait, they have um, they are not that interested in other people's problem, and uh, they don't care. They they mostly care about themselves and how they feel except to care about how people, other people feel, which is both good and bad, I think, this uh, trait that you don't, it, it's, not, it's not like you should not care about other people, but uh, I sometimes think that it's best to think about yourself first and like uh, just at first think what is good for you and then, think about others and I, 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 I can never do that I uh, I, I never uh, uh, did that like thinking my, about myself first it's like um, uh, in my bones I cannot change it that I always like, try to consider everyone in uh, every step that I make so it's hard for me uh, so I think uh, I'm going to uh, stop here and uh, let you guys talk and I, I, I know I think uh, I didn't talk about the the fifth one and uh, number <clears throat> uh, which is uh, about the sadness the moodiness the emotional instability which uh, again being high on that uh, and these uh, personality traits uh, makes you experience a lot of stress. You worry about uh, many different things and you get upset easily. You feel anxious. And uh, people who are low in this personality trait, they don't, doesn't worry much. They are more, much more relaxed and they rarely, rarely feel sad or depressed. So I think enough uh, about <laughs> talking, talking, me talking. I want uh, to hear you and uh, your thoughts or uh, about these five core uh, personality traits and um, maybe you can talk about yourself and which one you think uh, uh, is your high one or low one. So I, I would like to hear that. Okay. Anyone wants to contribute, talk about maybe one of these traits? 
time. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Yeah, so I just wanted to add a few things. Um, particularly, this um, personality traits is useful uh, mostly for the employees, I can say, like uh, in corporate culture. Um, the thing is, when uh, when you when someone is hiring, uh, like mostly empl like uh, employer looks um, how interactive you are, how uh, involved in the team, how we how we will involved in in the in the team, and uh, how productive you are, and how uh, well uh, like what you can say uh, creative you are or innovative you are. And how you handle stress and all this, as uh, these five personal traits mentioned. So the thing is, before joining a company, like usually most of the employees, if you take a like uh, what you can say sales job, like sales job needs uh, the person who who are who is open. I can say like who speaks well, who interacts well, uh, who is in, involved in the team, and who uh, take decision well. And who is extrovert? I can say. So uh, when someone is hiring uh, some person, he uh, like the employer particularly looks this uh, like what you can say. Uh, this uh, the looks these uh, personal traits, and they may you know uh, they may judge based on uh, these things. Like uh, you know, uh, if you are working in a the company, then definitely you need to have. Uh, consciousness, agreeableness, extra extravention, and uh, openness. These things definitely we are going to need. Um, if you don't have that, then you are not going to. For example, if you take agreeableness, you know, uh, it, it helps us to interact. Uh, what again, if, if we are okay, if you have what again, high score in this agreeableness, then you know, uh, it means that you are uh, well interact with the people and well involved ooh, in the team ooh, and uh, ooh, what i can say um, you, you are okay to work you are okay to work in any team uh, in in a productive way i can say yeah um, and uh, extraversion also like it, like how uh, extrovert you are how uh, you know uh, uh, express your ideas are like express how uh, how well you talk with people uh, yeah it's like that and uh, conscious care also tells about like how uh, discipline and uh, what you can say um, uh, yeah we can say how disciplined careful about things especially when you're uh, uh, for a fresher i can say like uh, you know you know at low level i can say for, for a fresher or like uh, uh, the person who is working under uh, under low level, he needs mostly conscious uh, consciousness. Uh, I can say, so uh, you know, it should be productive and it should be active and it should be uh, self disciplined uh, in order to maintain uh, standards. I can say, so this these things helps a lot uh, to employees particularly. I can say, uh, it would be any employee, yeah, uh, but it depends on the role that you're working. So yeah, that's what I want to add. And the uh, last thing is like stress balance. I can say like, um, uh, how you deal with the stress uh, when you're having it, then it also yeah, uh, it also plays a important role uh, while you're working. I can say yeah. Thank you, thank you, Sabrina, for this topic. Thank you, Sukesh. Thank you for your contribution. If uh, anyone else wants to go ahead and share about this topic. Anyone? Okay, I tried to use new features to motivate you. So, yeah. 
Uh, hi everyone. Hi, hi Sapade. Thank you for like such a great topic and for new screen as well. <laughs> it's like refreshing to see new screen. Uh, so yeah, like coming to back to the topic, uh, like the five big personal traits. Yeah, like uh, like Sukesh has also mentioned, like uh, having like uh, having these like different kind of personal traits are like. <clears throat> Uh, depends on like no like uh what kind of job you are getting on like uh that also uh affect like uh if your personality traits will go well with this or not like we are working in this uh like accounting profile or accounting industry so like having these traits are really uh important I guess like uh having uh, especially like this conscious uh, I can't even pronounce it as well like consciousness I guess. Uh, yeah, like uh, having like uh, being really efficient and organized is really important. Like if we are working in this accounting profile, because we need to maintain uh, the client accounts and like the other uh, things like uh, like their uh, financial statements and other things. For that, uh, a person needs to be a re a really efficient and organized. Because if we are not like if we are like uh, being careless, we don't uh, do the things on timeline or like we miss the deadlines. So it would create a mess and it would reflect uh, like badly on our and an individual or like uh, an organization itself uh, as well and uh, yeah and along with that if we uh, talk about other traits like openness like uh, I think it's yeah it's really important even if you're accountant yeah like I know if uh, we might think like accountants might not speak well or like uh, they don't speak much but uh, like in the current times it's really important to have like that openness so that you can communicate with cl clients really uh, like no well or you can understand them like just uh, and not only like satisfy them with their like uh, what should I say like just uh, like the, what they have assigned us to do like we can go beyond that like we can uh, go beyond what they need or like to satisfy them or impress them so uh, i think in that case we need uh, like traits of openness like when you are really open or you are going uh beyond like what the client is expecting also i think yeah like the traits of like having openness like a person is open or like you no know, a really good communicator i think yeah that kind of trait also helps in like uh like uh engaging with the client itself and uh, if we talk about uh like this extra version personality trait it's like yeah i think it's depend on person like some people are extroverts uh, so they would be comfortable like talking with uh, clients or like other people around them really uh, like easily and they won't mind talking or like uh, expressing themselves like instead but if you are an introvert that would be like really hard for that person to like uh, uh, be open or like you no know, express themselves really well so I think, yeah, like uh, that depends on that. But yes, it doesn't mean like extrovert uh, will be a bad communicator or something. Yeah, extrovert can be uh, like uh, can communicate themselves really well. But yeah, like uh, as you mentioned before, like they would need some time, like uh, more time alone, like to spend with themselves or to recharge themselves on like the extrovert kind of person. And if we talk about this agreeable, uh, agreeableness uh, personality trait, it's like uh, having a kind of a person who is like, no, uh, like who don't like conflicts or that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, I think that would be really useful when you are dealing with the clients or like who are like, no, uh, might be not satisfied with your work or like they, are, you are having some kind of a conflict or uh, I think in that case, this personality trait would be really helpful to deal with, uh, to deal and like resolve that situation. I think, yeah. And if we talk about this uh, neuro this is on a uh, trait i think yeah like it also depends on the person like uh, some uh, can be like a really sensitive kind of a person or uh, like uh, like they might be nervous that can depend on the situation but yeah like uh, if you have that kind of trait you can manage that thing like no uh, like by taking some uh, uh what should i say uh, like by taking some precautions like if it's not going in your favor or like if you are won't aren't able to deal with that but yeah i think yeah like uh, having uh, these personality traits can be like if you have uh, like a balance of these things like having uh, too much of anything or like having uh, a really low of something is not good but yeah 
if we can balance all these traits we can like uh come uh, like a good person or like i have a overall balanced traits of everything yeah that's what i wanted to contribute thank you thank you Ritika. thank you for your addition to this topic is there anyone else who wants to uh, contribute to this topic or if not we can end our session as it's past 30. Morning, morning, everyone. Hi, Sophie Day. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for today's topic. Um, yeah, I think um you've mentioned about the different traits that, that so like constitute different personalities. And I think you know, most times you find that uh you know, maybe someone may tend towards like a a, a, a certain personality. Yeah, but I think as you mentioned, Sepide, it doesn't mean that um, you know, you, you can't maybe try and learn um certain traits, let's say, of another personality. Yeah. So I'll give an example, like when um uh if you talk about this like extra version, like if someone is maybe naturally withdrawn and always to themselves, like it is a uh, okay, you know. I think to be like that, but there, there are certain instances in life where you're going to have to actually interact with people. Yeah, there are certain, you know, there are certain instances where you're actually going to have to speak to people, and I think that's something that can that can be learned. That you know, you can't just say, "Oh, uh, I'm an introvert, so um, you know, I can't maybe speak in front of people, or I can't do." um abc so i think um even though we embrace um our uh, you know our personalities we embrace who we are i think you probably had a lot of um uh, people who are on tv you know saying that they're actually introverts you know you hear a lot of them saying that they're introverts but they're on tv every day maybe they have a show or something yeah but it's something that they can learn yeah so i think you know we shouldn't just say oh you know i'm an, an introvert or so i cannot um you know for me i just keep quiet and think you know sometimes when you're quiet you know sometimes there are opportunities that will pass by you because you're quiet yeah so i think yeah it's good to to sort of be all rounded even though you have a certain personality so you were talking about how you know people who are more of like ex uh, extroverts Peter, you're saying how sometimes you know they will maybe speak without um thinking or they'll say something that they, they didn't mean to say you know I once met a lady I was meeting her for the first time and I think this is probably the most extroverted person I've ever met but she was meeting me for the first time and she spoke and spoke and she spoke like as if she had she knew me or something you know, like when you meet somebody and they're so extroverted that she spoke so much, telling me so much about her personal life, so many things. I'm like, okay, wow. So I think you can also pick maybe certain traits or certain, um, um, how can I call it? Certain traits, yeah, from someone who is introverted, you know, maybe thinking about certain things. Yeah, so I think, yeah, as you mentioned that, you know, there's nothing wrong with like any personality, but I think it's important, you know, to, um, you can always pick traits from maybe certain personalities that you may find that you're maybe not um, so, uh, so much of. Yeah, so, you know, we shouldn't just sit and say, oh, you know, maybe I'm this and, or I'm that. You can always be able to learn, to learn how to socialize or you can learn how to, also, because, you know, it's also good to be able to spend time um, with yourself as well, you know, because you're able to, you know, do a bit of, um, you know, introspect and things like that. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for your contribution. Yeah, thanks uh, for the addition to this topic. I think we can end our session for today. Thank you, everyone, for listening and for participating. And hope you all have. Yes, so today we have a few um wins um for people who passed the exams yesterday. ACC oh, yeah. exam. 
Yeah, so just find out who they'll, they'll mention themselves. Yeah, I know one of them, Jazeera. Um, but uh, I would like to know who else has their results and wants to share. So first, congratulations, Jazeera. Uh, Hi. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, it, I, I, it was really good to hear that. Thank you for sharing. Anyone else? Okay. Okay, so I think uh, we have Jazeera here who had the uh, results. So again, congratulations and uh, sorry. Yeah. Congratulations, Jazeera. Yeah, thank you, Linda. Yeah. 